Oh. Okay. 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 Oh. <laughs> Hey y'all, it has been 55 years since the very first issue of Southern Living was published in February of 1966. Now, in those 55 years, we have gone through so many recipes, literally thousands. Of those thousands of recipes, most of them are ridiculously good, but there are a few that we have published that when I look back at them, I think bless our hearts. What were we thinking when we put those ingredients together? So what I'm going to do is head to the office and go into the Southern Living Archive room. There are definitely some gems hidden, especially in the 60s and 70s, that I'm going to look through to see if I can find one of those bless our heart moments. Let's head to the office. All right, I'm in the archive room, which honestly under the prop room is probably my favorite room in the entire office because every single issue that has ever existed, it's in here and let me tell you, y'all, woof. What were we thinking here? An out of this world Southern Thanksgiving. This is from November, 1966. We have astronauts posing with a Thanksgiving spread on the moon. What is happening here? Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, which recipe have I chosen? Let's pull out 1973 July and see what is in here. But here we have salads offer cool luncheons. The title is lime cottage cheese mold, lime flavored gelatin, okay, horseradish, grated onion, hot sauce, salad greens, raw shrimp. There we have it, lime cottage cheese mold with shrimp help okay i'm back from the store with my ingredients and my recipe let's go over the ingredients because some of these ingredients i had a little bit of a hard time trying to find an equivalent in today's time so two three ounce packages of lime flavor gelatin easy lime jello two cups of boiling water easy one cup of cold water even easier half a cup of salad dressing now that is the only descriptor I get, salad dressing. You know, when people read salad dressing now, they're like, what flavor salad dressing? There's ranch, there's Italian, there's balsamic. Salad dressing in 1973 referred to sort of like mayonnaise, basically the Miracle Whip of the 70s. Yes, Miracle Whip and salad dressings do still exist today. I personally do not endorse those. Kewpie mayo, which is a Japanese style mayo, is very reminiscent of Miracle Whip, but 10,000 times better. Instead of Duke's mayonnaise, for my salad dressing substitute, I'm gonna use Kewpie mayo, or you can use Miracle Whip. So whatever you have on hand or whatever you wanna buy is fine. Small curd creamed cottage cheese. Small curd cottage cheese easy. Creamed cottage cheese, not as much. So basically that just means it's super creamy. It's got high milk fat content. I found this 4% milk fat minimum, which is like pretty heavy, small curd cottage cheese, which is what I'm gonna use. Tablespoon of grated horseradish. Uh, I could have used horseradish, like fresh horseradish root. It said grated, so I'm assuming that it already meant grated, but not prepared. So this fresh ground horseradish is what I am going to use. Grated onion, standard, two to four drops of hot sauce. Back then, they loved Tabasco, so that's what I'm gonna use. Salad greens, easy. It says two pounds raw shrimp cooked and cleaned, or one pound cooked clean shrimp. Either way, cooked shrimp. And then sour cream chili sauce dressing. Upon first read of this sour cream chili sauce dressing, it is kind of like cocktail sauce and tartar mixed together because it is sour cream, half a cup of chili sauce or catsup. It doesn't even say ketchup, it says catsup. And then two tablespoons of grated horseradish. Again, half the horseradish freshly ground in this jar. One thing to note is that it says to pour it into a one and a quarter quart ring mold. Now, if you have one, amazing. That is what you wanna use for this recipe. I don't have one, but I do have a bud pan that will work just as fine. And that's it, bud pan instead of ring mold. QP mayo instead of salad dressing. Let's get to it. I would say I'm excited, but I don't think that that's the right adjective for this. Anxious, um, curious, curious is a good one. Okay, I'm bringing two cups of water up to a boil, and then I have my other ingredients over here ready to go. 
The first step is dissolving the lime jello in the boiling water. I have another bowl and some cold water ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this lime jello, pour it in here so I can put my boiling water into this bowl with the jello, then add in the cold water. I'm just stirring this until the gelatin is all the way dissolved. And now I can add in my cold water. Jello is ready to go. It says chill until slightly thickened, and then I can mix in my other ingredients, which are like the cottage cheese, the grated onion, the horseradish, the salad dressing, you know, all those things. So into the fridge we go, and in the meantime, I can stir up those other ingredients. All right, now that my lime jello is slightly thickening in the refrigerator, I need to mix up my other ingredients that go into this jello mold. So we've got the salad dressing, AKA in this case, Miracle Whip, QP Mayo, or regular mayonnaise if you don't have any of those others on hand, horseradish, grated onion, small curd cottage cheese, and hot sauce. So we're gonna mix all that together. This combo, up until this point, it was like, okay, this could be good. Now, I am not knocking all jello salads. If they are a sweet jello salad with like fruit and marshmallows, I am here for it. But when you start to put hot sauce, onion, and horseradish with those things. Woo! Okay, if you have eaten something like this before, I would like to know in the comments because just wow. If you're my age and you've eaten some of this before, like did your grandmother make this? Did your mom make this? Let me know your life story in the comments about, or at least your life story as it relates to jello molds because just, I need, to, I, I need to know. Okay, let's mix this stuff up. So the first ingredient we have on hand is a salad dressing. In my case, I am using QP mayonnaise. It says a half a cup. Next up, one 16 ounce carton of small curd creamed cottage cheese. This is 16 ounces, it's small curd, and it's a high milk fat content. So I'm going in with all of this. Next up is the grated horseradish. Instead of using horseradish root. I'm using this fresh ground stuff, not prepared. Usually you can find this near the refrigerated pickles, which are usually near the like bacon and hot dogs in the grocery store. A tablespoon of that. And then I already had this part of an onion in my fridge, so I'm just going ahead and using that to grate it. Last but not least, Tabasco. It says two to four drops. I like a lot of hot sauce, so I just went for it. I probably put six, and then we're gonna give this a stir. Here we are, this is what it looks like. I am now just waiting on the lime jello to thicken slightly so I can stir this in to the jello mixture. In the meantime, I am going to make this sour cream chili sauce dressing that I can just cover and chill until it's ready to go. And I can go ahead and cook my shrimp, which is boiling them and chill those overnight in the fridge too. So half a pint of sour cream, which is one cup, into a bowl. And then I also opted for chili sauce instead of ketchup, just because it's a little bit more interesting and I didn't want to use my prized ketchup for this recipe, so chili sauce it is, half a cup. And then back in it with two teaspoons of the horseradish. This sauce, I am not mad about. It is gonna be great on the shrimp. It would also be good on a po' boy, really any kind of seafood dish. So I'm gonna cover this, put it in the fridge, and then whenever everything is ready to serve, I will serve this with my shrimp that goes inside of the jello mold. Yeah. When you're boiling shrimp, you always wanna make sure you have an ice bath off to the side so that as soon as your shrimp are done cooking, you can plunge them in the ice water. This stops the cooking process and helps make sure your shrimp don't overcook and they're not tough. Plunge them in the ice bath and you'll have perfect shrimp every time. I've got my shrimp in a container. They are cooked, peeled, and deveined, and I'm putting them in the fridge so that they'll be ready to go for tomorrow. My lime jello mixture is slightly thickened. I think it could probably be a little bit thicker than this, but when I jiggle it, it's like kind of solid. I don't want it to thicken too much before I add in my cottage cheese mixture because I want it to set in the jello mold and not in the bowl before I add the cottage cheese mixture in there. So, moment of truth. 
we're going to mix the cottage cheese mixture with the jello mixture and put it in the mold. Here is my bunt pan. Let's pour it in. Oh no. Ew. Okay, I've done it. It's in the mold. I made a slight bit of a mess. It is gonna be covered and put into the fridge and I'm gonna chill it overnight. And then tomorrow we get to taste this bad boy. I am pumped! Good morning. It is day two of this jello mold adventure. It's jiggly. It is jiggly. It, it, it looks like it's probably gonna come out pretty well. I think that Pamela did her job. Here's this. Here's this. Let's do it. Oh, it smells like horseradish. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, oh. It definitely came out. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it flop. Woohoo! All right. I mean, like, it came out clean. Wow. It's jiggly. It is jiggly, folks. Okay. Um, now I'm going to arrange my lettuce. Pretty. <laughs> oh, this is something. Woo, y'all, what were we thinking when we wrote this recipe? What were we thinking? Look at this. Yikes. Okay, we have the jello mold surrounded by a bed of lettuce. And I am supposed to fill the center with my shrimpies from yesterday. So technically a like ring jello mold from 1973 um, has a bigger hole. So it is a little bit better, but oh, look at the jiggle when I set the shrimp down y'all. Look at the jiggle. Wow, the, a crown jewel it is. Okay, now it says I'm supposed to serve it with my sour cream chili sauce dressing. Wow, so I am serving it on the side. Let's compare. Here's the OG. Here's mine. Like this situation, this spotted situation looks wow. Like what have we gotten ourselves into? I'm gonna first take a stab at just the shrimp. I think I can definitely stomach the shrimp because it's just shrimp with cocktail sauce. So here we go. That's good, I would sit here all day with that. Like the shrimp with the sauce fine, is the jello mold meant to be eaten? I mean, surely it's made out of food. They would serve it. They would serve it um, if in like something non-edible, if it wasn't me meant to be eaten. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, <laughs> getting on the plate. Mm. Mm-mm. 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 No. Don't put me down for that. It tastes kind of reminiscent of that like spicy ginger dressing that you might get on a salad at some Japanese restaurants because of the horseradish and the lime. But the lime is like super artificial lime as one would expect from lime jello. And the cottage cheese is chunky. And the texture is wonky. This this is like, this is wackadoodle. This is, this is what this is. So I did it, I tasted it. I don't, I don't have any more words to say besides don't try this at home. But do try the shrimp with the sour cream chili sauce dressing because that is phenomenal and that is what I'm gonna be eating for lunch. The lime jello mold is going in the trash. Bless our hearts. Southern Living, we have hit it out of the park multiple, multiple times, but in July of 1973, this jello cottage cheese lime shrimp 
horseradish situation, it's a no, it's a no from me. If y'all have any other weird vintage recipes that you have seen in previous Southern Livings, I would love to read about it in the comments. Let me know if you want me to make another one to see if I actually do like it. Like I said, parts of this recipe are not bad. The shrimp in the sauce, highly recommend. Jello mold, not so much. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share, click the bell, all the social media things. I will see y'all next week on Hey Y'all. Bye y'all.